Hello everyone, I am back um, and I want to make a very short video today about Elizabeth Arden's uh, perfumes. And here I have the Elizabeth Arden Beauty and Elizabeth Arden White Tea Wild Rose. I think, is it clear? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will start with the first one, with Beauty. As you can see, it's almost done. That's why I wanted quickly to make a short video um, until it remained something. Okay, so this one is a floral green fragrance that has been launched in 2002, so it's pretty old. The top notes here are green notes, rice flower, iris and bergamot. The middle notes, lotus, rhubarb, lily, ginger and orchid. And the base notes are musk, sandalwood and amber. So for those who love floral fragrances, this is a wonderful cheapy because it's really cheap. It's, I think the small size is somewhere uh, 23 bucks. The, the the biggest one um, that I have for 100 mils, I think, is still $60. Um, so it's a lovely uh, green floral scent, as I said, very clean and serene. It reminds me, you know, in the beginning of a summer grass smell. The performance is not the best, but it could be worse. So... It's okay for the price it has. This one is a flanker for the original one, Elizabeth Arden White Tea, that was launched in, um, the classical one was launched in 2017. Uh, the top notes there are sea notes, fern, clary sage, mandarin orange, the middle white tea, white iris, made, and the base notes are exotic woods, ambret, tonka bean, and amber. But this one that was launched in 2019, Wild Rose, is much better, I would say. I love this one because here you can smell only rose, really. It's simply a rose. For, for those who love rose scents, you can try it for sure. So, um, this one, of course, it's also a floral fragrance, but here you can feel rose. Um, the top notes here, so, are white tea, of course, red currant, pear blossom, palmarosa, the middle, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, peony and clary sage, and the base, musk, amber, tonka bean, and mate. So it's a kind of green grassy rose mixed with some white floral notes and a bit of citruses. It smells nice, but it's weak, so it doesn't last very long. Anyways, my boyfriend complimented me when he smelled on me this perfume. Um, rose is considered to be an aphrodisiac, so men love when girls smell like roses. So you can try it because it's not expensive, it's pretty affordable. It's also uh, some way of, I think, for $25. So it's pretty affordable. If to speak about other flankers of Elizabeth Arden White Tea, then I can mention also uh, one that was launched also in 2019. You can see the photo here. Um, Vanilla Orchid. It's a very pretty smell, by the way. The top notes there are Bergamot, Lemon and Queens. The middle notes Gardenia, Jasmine and Orchid. And the base notes are musk, oris, and vanilla. Another one was launched in 2020, uh, so white tea mandarin blossom. Here the top notes are mandarin orange, bergamot, lemon, exotic fruits, the middle white tea, orange blossom, jasmine, and neroli, and the base notes musk, cedar, ambroxan, and osmanthus. 
And the last one, as far as I know, was launched in uh, 2021. So white tea, ginger, lily. The top notes here are bitter orange, bergamot, neroli, mandarin orange, the middle ginger, white ginger lily and violet, and the base notes musk, cedar, mate and tonka bean. If to be honest, I think that this one is, I don't know, the least that I would like to try because I don't prefer ginger in perfumes, but those who, who like, why not, you can try, because as I already mentioned, they are pretty affordable. But this one I like the most. So you can try, and of course, you can write me if you have tried one of Elizabeth Arden's perfumes, because he has many. Please write me your opinion about, um, about her perfumes. Um, and subscribe please because I'll come back with other videos about other perfumes. So I hope that you like them. Thank you. Bye bye